from Rigor, this conversion unit, we were posted to a squadron. This squadron was 76 squadron based in Yorkshire at home on Spalding Moor. Our remote sort of a place but a squadron with great tradition. The first uh, the former CO was uh, the RAF's most decorated airman, Leonard Cheshire. He did his first tour of operations from 76 and he subsequently became the CO of the squadron. It was a, really it was an, a, a great experience to be there. The CO, when we arrived, was a man called Group Captain Hank Iverson. A big, bluff, well-mannered, efficient RAF type with a great big Bomber Command moustache. And as we entered his, his uh, study, we greeted with the boots on the desk and the big happy smile on his face. Come in, come in chaps. Here, take a seat and I'll tell you what we do on, at home on Spalding Moor. He then proceeded to put us at ease. He said, we're pretty remote here, so I'll make sure that you all get a bicycle. Uh, so you can you can arrive at the, uh, the at the mess and at the dispersal point and your own quarters, and we have certain codes of dress. He said, um, "I like you to be comfortable. I'm not insisting on on King's regulations, uh, tie and uh, collars and." And that's another thing, saluting. Uh, no saluting on this station after midday. No matter how many officers you pass, no saluting needed after midday. The station order. He said, CO's inspection. Now don't forget, he said, um, the MO is supposed to check you out well, at least a couple of times a week, but he said, we do it every Thursday if we get around to it. So he said, um, Thursday, remember, is the MO's inspection. What he really meant was, make your beds, make your beds on a Thursday, but don't bother the other days if you don't want, don't feel like it. You know, this is a man looking after his men. The other thing I noted with Iverson was that any nasty trip we had, you know, such as Frankfurt or Gelsenkirchen and some of those hot Ruhr targets, he would be on the battle order. He would lead the crew and he would say apologetically as the as the blind went up, oh, oh, he said, uh, now I'll be leading A flight and squadron leader Bridgman, he'd be leading B flight and apologetically he'd be leading us. But if we had a, a quick target like a flying bomb site, uh, which was only three or four hours, uh, he wouldn't be on it, he wouldn't bother going. And he would say, oh, now, now, tonight, tonight shouldn't be too bad. Um, it's only, only three or four hours, and um, uh, squadron leader Harwood, he'll lead A flight, and uh, squadron leader Bridgman will lead B flight, and, um, and I'll be here when you get back. So that's how he was. He, he was just an inspiration, that man.